Cal, care to join me? Grease has gone outside for once. Figured I'd take the time to rest. Not a bad idea. You two have spent a lot of time together. I think it's Marin's turn to enjoy his charm. <laughs> think she can handle it? He's superstitious enough to give her space, relatively speaking. Makes me want to learn magic. <laughs> Seriously. What are you thinking about? How quiet it is. I don't know if it's because Grease is off the ship or something else. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm not sure. I don't know if I like it. Silence is strange when you aren't looking for it. Almost makes me want to fill these walls with music from my Halleck set or something. Yeah, you should start playing again. Maybe. I don't often feel up to it these days. I've always wanted to learn an instrument. Think you could teach me after this is all settled? I'd like that. Yeah. I'm just taking some time to myself. Thanks, Cal. Sometimes the exhaust valve needs a bit of tending to, but otherwise, it hasn't been much of an issue. Grease is quite the expert when it comes to engineering. We haven't had a problem with the Mantis that Grease couldn't fix on the fly. I'm just surprised to see him outside on Dathomir. Well, she was asking about my ship. Of course I'm gonna show her. It's fascinating. You must teach me to be a pilot. Whoa, 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 one thing at a time. First maintenance, then flight lessons, maybe. I haven't committed to anything yet. How's it feel to be home? Good. Now that Malikos is gone. It's hard to believe he was ever a Jedi. Desperation deformed him. There are many experiences that can warp or break a person. I was taught that we always have a choice in how we respond to misfortune. True. But it still leaves a mark. Your friend Seer. It is clear she carries great pain. She may no longer be a Jedi, but... She'll never stop fighting for what she believes in. Good. You should get what you came for. Grease, you ready for a tour of Dathomir yet? You're kidding, right? He would not last long, I think. Yeah, listen to the Night Sister. Gonna take a hard pass on that one, kid. I may be a gambler, but that's a risk I am not willing to take just yet. Perhaps you can show us your home, Grease. Yeah, not a bad idea. Really? Lateron? All right, I'll think about it. It's been a while since I've been to the old stomping ground. I wouldn't mind it myself. Grease? I really hope that kid pulls through. Grease, are you okay? Oh, Cal, I was just referring to my plant. <laughs> I see how that might have been confusing. You worry over your plants? He even talks to them. Hey, they've been through a lot. Stress may be good for building character, not so good for plants. I'm sure they'll pull through. If they don't make it, do you think you could bring them back? Perhaps. Oh, let me be clear. I don't want any monster plants trying to eat me in my sleep. Oh? Then you better stay on my good side. Malikos may not be here, but Dothamir is still dangerous. Be aware of your surroundings. We'll see as much as we can, buddy. Gano it is. This Cordova guy is really putting some wear and tear on my ship. He always wanted to explore the whole galaxy. And did you? We explored many planets. Tombs and temples related to the Zepho and Jedi. But I hit a limit. To him, there was no limit. The poor crazy old guy was left alone. He was always alone. Even when I was with him, he cared about his work and the future more than anything else. He didn't have the time. He was always on the move. Magana was the first place I ever saw that looked like he settled, even for a brief moment. Time to land. Get up here. Worked for Cordova. You can make it work. She's right. Oh, hey, is anybody hungry? I, I was thinking of whipping up some scaz steaks. I'm sorry, am I interrupting? No, Captain. And we couldn't have gotten this far without you. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, it's true, Grease. 
Thank you. Hey, I hope you get in there and you find that hollow thing. Holocron. Are you sure it's something you should find? What do you mean? The children on that list. If you take them from their homes to train as Jedi, won't they be hunted like you? It has to be kept out of the hands of the Empire. It'll help us put an end to the Empire. Oh, hey, uh, change of plans, we're arriving. Oh, Gris. Yeah? I take my steak rare. Huh. Huh? Okay, now we're cooking. Hey, oh, wait up. I know you're about to get that hollow cron. Nice, you remembered. You joining me? Oh, no, no, absolutely not. No, I just wanted to say, you know, those, those kids we're supposed to find, they're lucky to have you. They're lucky to have us. We're in this together, Grease. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hoping you'd say that because, you know, they're gonna need more than fancy magic tricks. Oh, uh, yeah? Practical guidance, role model, someone to look up to. You know, ship flying's a complicated art, but that's only if I stick around. I remember that. Good. Good. Okay. Good luck, buddy. Funny to have this thing end where it started. Oh, yeah. I remember our first visit here. I've said it before. I really didn't think you were... A Jedi? Jedi or not, I just didn't think you were the guy. And now? Now, Jedi or not, you are. Look, I still don't quite get the whole Force stuff, but what I do know is that you are one tough kid. Thanks. So are you. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I do look young for my age. <laughs> you and Marin getting along? Oh, yeah. I mean, she still freaks me out, you know, the whole raising the dead thing. But as long as she doesn't kill me... She won't. You'll be all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, you said that before, and then... And you're still alive. For now. Nothing will happen to you. We're all in this together, Grease. Hurry up here, I'm hungry. Might try a new recipe for smoked kadu ribs. There's something weird about this place. The energy is different here. Yeah, it's different than Dathomir. Yes. Dathomir is intricate. Its ancient power emanates from the shadows. Bagano feels more simplistic, and yet... I can't figure it out. Bagano is special. There's a reason the Zepho built their vault here. Where your holocron waits. Hidden. What are you getting at? This planet has remained nearly untouched for centuries. Were the lives you seek to protect really in danger before you intervened? We're definitely not on Dathomir anymore. No, we are not. Is it how you imagined? The rest of the galaxy, I mean? It is so vast. I see now my life on Dothamir was... limited. I felt the same way about leaving Baraka. The world can feel small when you're trapped by the past. I think I will like my time aboard the Mantis. The Jedi we train will help build a galaxy that respects and preserves special places like this one. And that is their choice or yours? We need each other to survive. Without the Jedi, I don't know if we can. We have a responsibility to protect them. So you've said. Shouldn't you be saving the galaxy? That is what Jedi do, no? Cal, got a second? You've been through a lot to get here. But the vault is still an unknown. Cordova put the holocron inside. That's what's important. I have to get it. Cordova built danger into this test to protect it. You're worried about me. I don't want to train all those younglings alone. I'll be fine, Seer. Plus, I've got BD with me. I know. Just be careful. This might be unlike anything you two have faced before. 
Thanks. We're ready. The both of us. Take care of each other. Are you ready for what comes next? Yes. And so are you. I've seen it. You've learned a lot from all this, Cal. And from you. That's kind of you to say, Cal, but I won't be in the vault with you. Yeah, you will. Just in a different way. I'm glad we found you, Cal. Good luck in there. And remember, think before you react. I suspect Cordova left behind a test not just anyone could solve. May the Force be with you. Remember when you first brought me here? It's hard to believe how far you've come in such a short time, Cal. Yeah. Hey, maybe when we train the younglings, we'll do it my way. I have a few ideas that don't include life or death situations. <laughs> You'll never train someone your way. Both people have to be willing to learn. Thanks. For everything. Anytime. This might be a peaceful place, but it doesn't mean it can't be dangerous. Hey there, little guy. We'll find you a home. This is the same kind of sphere and socket from Zepho. What do you think it does? This, you and I are going to be unstoppable. There. this. Yes. Let's take a look. A boggling. There must be a nest around here somewhere.
statue placed with a view of the vault. I sense this site was chosen with great purpose. This will be a nice addition to the terrarium. Want to see inside? What'd you find? that what Always on point. Of course he found something. Jump on in, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's take a look. Over here, BD. Want to look inside? Okay, BD. What is it? Let's check it out. My friend, I've unearthed a curious artifact. My friend, I've unearthed a curious artifact. An ancient sphere capable of storing and conducting massive amounts of energy. Whatever civilization crafted this must be the same that created the seemingly impenetrable structure nearby. I believe studying 
This sphere may yield the information I need to discover who they were and why they built such a landmark. I mention to you how awesome this is because you're pretty great. Whoever owned this bag brought it from Coruscant. They were frustrated with the Jedi Council.
It was Cordova's. He was troubled by endless war, determined that the Jedi were making a mistake and what he was doing here was more important. Take a look. Oh, you found something. Get in there. Have fun in there? Incredibly old. Can't tell much from them. An ancient burial site.
Come on now, buddy. Door, me BD1. Excellent. <laughs> Cordova's repair kit. He hoped someone would pick up his trail, but left BD1 to guide them. I flew with all haste to Coruscant and presented my findings to the Council. My friend, I flew with all haste to Coruscant and presented my findings to the Council. Despite my persistence, despite my research, they do not take this threat seriously. Only one person believed in me. My old confidant, Jocasta Nu. She entrusted me with a holocron from the Jedi Archives. A secret copy of her list of young Force sensitives. This hilt belonged to Cordova. Feels weird to say about someone I've never met, but. It's kind of comforting. I agree. This place is special. I'm taking this hilt with us.
you're gonna regret running. Time to die. Oh, you're in trouble. something? My friend, examinations of the sphere proved fruitful. My friend, examinations of the sphere proved fruitful. I found similar relics across Bagano's surface, including a precious view with glyphs. After much study, I've discerned a pattern and begun to translate their language. Within their glyphs, I've determined the words, sage, vault and tomb. There is more. What appears to be coordinates to the Zepho system? Perhaps this is the same ancient civilization which abounded there. Hey, Seer. Do you have a favorite memory with Cordova? Our hollow chess games. Cordova was so absorbed in his research, I basically trained myself. But he always had time for a round of hollow chess. You ever win? <laughs> We'd go back and forth. Our approaches were completely different. Just when you thought you were winning, surprise. Sounds like you learned a lot from each other. In our own ways, we did. Hey, look in here. Let's see what you found. My friend. Entering the vault gave me a premonition just as it did for the Zepho. My friend, entering the vault gave me a premonition just as it did for the Zepho. I saw the fall of the Jedi, the overwhelming power of the dark side spreading across the galaxy. We must act quickly. I need to inform the Consul. This is gonna sound strange, but I think it's the Astrium. The closer we get to the vault, the stronger it feels. <laughs> Careful, buddy. We still don't know how this thing works. Here we go, BD. <laughs> I'll 
for this record of our civilization to those who will follow. Despite our wisdom and technological achievement, we face extinction. Dogma blinded us to the path of balance, and gradually we allowed our pride to corrupt us. Them the ways of the Force. Master Custis. We shall begin with physical preparation. What is the Force? Gather round, everyone. Master Custis, do you think the Empire will find us? That's right. On your knees.
feeling I'd see you here. Oh? How uncharacteristically prescient of you. Here I thought your greatest virtue was your dogged persistence as you stumbled from one debacle to the next. Guess you made a mistake not killing me on Baraka then. A scant mercy. I wagered one meaningless Padawan against a prize that will win me the Emperor's favor. You think I'm gonna let you walk away with the Holocron? Of course not. We both have our pride. But yours has cost you the lives of all the Force-sensitive children on that list, as well as your own. Like you said, Trilla, I'm persistent. I understand. You're not so tough. You 
Seer, I saw what happened between you and Trilla, what you both went through. I'm so sorry. I was arrogant, I was foolish. I could never understand what you went through. She has a holocron. I don't know where she's taking it. I'm responsible for the path that Trilla is on. And what she does next is the cost of all of my mistakes. Our mistakes are in the past. And it's all of our responsibility, and it's about what we do next that's important. You taught me that, Seer. You're right. I know where she's taking it. There's a fortress where they take Jedi, where the Inquisitors come from. It's a place of torture. It's the place I escaped. I just never thought I'd be going back there. I won't be going alone. I'll have a friend with you. No. I'll have a Jedi with me. Neil. By the right of the Council, by the will of the Force, Cal Kestis. Rise, Jedi Knight. You are ready. So are you. You're making good progress, Cal. I'm glad you're with us. Well, we got a galaxy to save. Not an easy task. Are you sure you're up to it? I'll be okay. It's better than hiding on Braca. I've been to many different planets in the galaxy searching for... Well, you. Unless we stop the Empire, we'll all be gone. Hidden or not. I'm ready. Good. You must have come here a lot with Cordova. No. Actually, he never brought me here. 
He did tell me about it. I was the only one who knew of its location. He trusted you? I suppose he did. He trusted I'd believe him and finish what he started. Hopefully he was right. BD-1 thinks so. He's one bright droid. This might be a peaceful place, but it doesn't mean it can't be dangerous. Quiet. Too quiet. Not a fan of nature, Grease? Not only behind glass. Otherwise, nature's not a fan of me. I mean, I may have four arms, but if you haven't noticed, I'm basically bite-sized for most deadly creatures. I need a moment to myself. So you and Sierra have been here a few times? Oh, we've been all over the place. Non-stop tour of the galaxy with her. But she's paying the bills, so I can't complain, really. Better than hiding on a scrapyard for years. Oh, that I can agree with. I mean, I've seen trash heaps before. And that planet was the trashiest. I can't believe anyone would... Sorry. You're not wrong. What? Hey, keep that droid at a distance. I don't want it leaking on me or whatever. 